Good morning everybody, this is Greg with Mineral Springs Tilapia. Just wanted to show you what was going on this morning. Today is June 8th, I think. Um, so it's the first week of June. The year's winding down way too fast. Got a couple big females holding in here. That one right there, you can see. And this one right here. Um, they are older fish. They don't have a lot of babies at a time, three to four hundred. Uh, but they are breeding relatively consistently. So this tank I had a little issue with this morning. I came in here. The tops were on the tanks just like they are right now. I haven't moved them. And one of the fish from this tank was laying here on the floor. So he knocked his way out of the tank and jumped out of the tank. Um, uh, happens sometimes, not very often, but it does happen. There's nobody holding in this tank right now. They all have babies recently. Nobody's holding in this tank. These are big fish. You can see the sizes of these fish. Uh, they don't breed real often, but they do breed. They still breed. There's two in here holding. That one right there and that one right there. So, uh, there are fish in here. There's an extra female in here, so I'll probably move her from this tank back to the one where the one jumped out today. So, uh, this tank here, there's one holding right there in the corner. Uh, I don't see any other ones. This tank, I harvested three fish out of last week. Uh, I don't see any other ones holding in here right now. There's one that I don't see. She may be in a pipe somewhere that I... Oh, there she is. Nope, she's not holding. Um, quite a few fry everywhere. Uh, nobody in here is holding, although... Well, that one I just harvested about 100 from yesterday. She's a real small girl. She's only about three and a half, four inches long, so... Uh, take her a little while to get some more eggs in. Now I had to take this tank down, right up here in the top corner, I had a leak. And I took it down to here, it's quit leaking, I'm letting it dry out, and uh, I'm going to see where I'm at. I may have to empty the tank and do some work on the wood or replace a piece of wood, but we'll see. Okay, I've gotten a lot more fry this week. There's about somewhere between three and four hundred in here. These are small fry. You can see them swimming around on the back corner and on that side of the filter. Everybody seems to be okay. There's about 500 in this tank. Again, a whole mass of small babies. They were just born on the 4th, so these guys are only 4 days old. I've got a tumbler here. These fry are getting ready to get out of here. I don't see any swimming around in the tank yet, but it won't be too long before they start. Well, yeah, there's one down here on the bottom. Still sack fry. Uh, these are from the end of last month. A couple of hundred in here. There's 325 in this one. These are from uh, a little bit earlier last month. And then I've got another couple hundred in this tank on that back wall. You can see them swimming around. Of course, I've got my, these fish are growing out. They'll go out next week. There's a lot of, a lot of one inch fish in here ready to move. So I will get them out of here. And then I've got a lot in this tank also. And everybody in here is hungry and eating. You can see them stacked up in the corner down there. They've got a couple algae wafers jammed up in there and they're just eating their hearts out. Some of these are still small. These were only put in here on the 24th. At that time, they were seven days old. So they've got another, uh, let's see, that'd be 24th of June. So that's 14, 16 days to grow. But there's a lot in here that are food grade already or one inch fish. So I've got a lot of fish coming up which is making me feel a little bit better about where I was at. These guys, you can see them attacking that algae wafer right there in the bottom front. 
I just ran a bunch of them off. A lot of these are ready to go out the door. So that's where I'm at. It's kind of a report video. That's where I'm at right now. I've got about, yeah, let's see, three, nine, there's 10. 16, 17, 22, 24, 50, 27, 50, 3, about 3,300 fry in here right now of different sizes. You add them all up. So, um, I had some fry dying and I couldn't figure out why. Well, I kind of got it figured out. I haven't had any die or look stressed lately but what was happening is I had way too much pressure on these sponge filters they were bubbling much too hard they created a huge current in there and all the fish did was swim 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 so they finally swam themselves to death I think um, like I said everybody's doing great today uh, no big deal so I might have that figured out uh, the water was in perfect condition as far as pH and, and uh, ammonia and there was nothing in the tanks that could have killed the fish but so I think it was the uh, fact that they were just having to swim too hard for too long and everybody looks great this morning when I came out here so I'm thinking I got that figured out I hope so if you all have any questions you know give me a send me a message and I'll answer them. I answer all my comments and messages if they require a, if they require a, an answer and uh, I've got it taken care of uh, subscribe to my channel and I'll let you know what's going on we will continue to breed these guys and see how we do thanks for watching I'll see you on my next video bye